Okay. All right, let's see what we've got. Let's see how we do. Uh, okay. Let me just check the, the double cast uh, bolt two from the from X Men. Check double cast bolt two. Who's it with the lightning rod? What is she gonna do? I'll just have you break the rod. Here's dual cast bolt two. What's the total damage? Eight hundred. So it's gonna be less than half of what she could do. Oh, you know what? I probably should not go on the offensive with my white mage yet. I should have gone for shell there. I should have gone for shell. Because in comes a white hole now that's going to torch us. Um, okay, let's do X-Magic. Let's do Protect Protect. Yeah. I just need to... I'm just kind of wasting some time with the, uh, the red mages. I like Protect Protect, though. Nice little, little set. Protect one more. But yeah, my white mage really should have gone shell there kind of with, from her first action. And definitely stealth shell. Thank you very much. That's not bad. These protects are not going to stick around very long. Because they're going to get dispelled away. But um, if x -Dev does do a physical attack now, uh, we can just kind of tank it. Should be able to, to eat a physical attack now. Okay, shell the other red mage. Then we'll shell the knight. Okay, regular attack. Very good. Good. shell the knight. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate that protect kind of overrides shell's coloring. I would rather have shell be the one that's visible, but it looks like protect is the one that wins that fight. That's unfortunate. I'd rather know who is shell than who is not, or than who is protected. I'd much rather know that. Okay, good. All right, so there's four shells. This first one of X-Death, I don't know if he actually has Dispel in his room. So we actually might be able to keep all of these um, going. And this should reset her glitch. Yeah, it does reset the glitch, so breaking a new rod resets that glitch. I'm going to try to get Blink now on some characters uh, before I eat the meat goes. Because I would like to go into the Neo X Death fight with uh, Lincoln Shell on everybody if I can. Or at least most characters. If we can swing it. Okay, that was White Hole, and that looks like that missed because Shell gives you 50% um, magic evade. So a White Hole missed. It's actually really great news. Okay, Knight. B shell or B uh, B linked. Now one dispel will take all of that away. Unfortunately, now, one dispel is going to be enough to blast that whole thing out of the park. But that's fine. I'm just going to have her get a little more health to the knight. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll do Blink for Blink for Lena. Then after this, I can switch to Holy, which will help propel this battle to the end through his more dangerous routine. Because here's, speaking of dangerous routines, here's Medio. Looks like two characters are going to be dead. Yep, we've got two deaths. But here comes two um, raises. X Magic raise, raise. I think I did that correctly. I hope I didn't target it on the same character. One. And two. Okay, very good. We have two characters raised. Um, this is dicey right here because if I advance this, if I advance it into the next fight now, 
um, we are going to be at a really big disadvantage. So, um, I'm not going to advance this yet. Yeah, because we're going to be at a huge disadvantage going into the next fight if I came in with us really weak there. So unfortunately, I have to set us ourselves back a little bit. My white mage is going to have to reapply shell status. And we have to hang out in the dangerous part of X Death's Roots uh, a little bit longer. So that's what we needed right there. That's what we needed. Okay, so I'm very glad I did that. I knew we were close to that. Now we're in much better shape going into the Neo X Death battle. We are in much better condition. Um, everyone has shell except for Lena. I'm not worrying about Lena's shell status anyway. Um, my white mage could use a blink. She could use a blink because she's kind of vulnerable back there in that back row. The elixir helped get her HP and her MP full again. I'm going to go after Grand Cross first, but we're going to be eating an occasional Almagest. And, of course, occasional Dispels. So, um, so here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. Neo X Death. We'll see if we can squeeze out a, um, a attempt one victory. To start with the magic lamp. Um, this is Bahamut. The white mage would be the better character to do this with in terms of uh, sheer damage, but um, for single targeting stuff, okay, that's really good. For single targeting stuff, um, it's really going to be all about um, the holy. It'll be all about the holy right there. Um, so here we go. It's going to be Thunder Rod. Um, let me see how much damage that does. What are we doing for her? Yeah, very, very, very low. Very low. I knew that the magic defense was going to be a big story here. Um, X death. So she's going to do less than a thousand. Um, trial may do about a thousand, but I'm not going to hold my breath for it. Um, this is going to be Leviathan. I don't think I can damage the Grand Cross piece fast enough to actually get it to miss any. Grand Crosses. I'm going to try, though. Missing on the uh, Ragnarok attack was not my ideal way to start. Uh, but everyone who I want to have Shell has Shell, and everyone I want to have Blink has Blink. Now I'm going to sneak in a Holy. Every time I can sneak in a Holy, I'm going to. Okay. Really solid. Really solid. Okay. There is a physical attack. And all the jest is incoming right here. Uh, there's an arrow three, so now I have to kind of prioritize getting my white mage uh, healed to full again. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do full cast here two, just to get her back up to full health. Because um, I need, when all the jest fires, I really need everybody at um, as full health as I can get them, except Lena. Lena's just going to die when all the jest fires, no matter what I do. No matter what happens, Lena's is going to die. Alright, so there is solid damage again, though. Um, I think I can sneak in one more round. I'd like to have a Cure 3 ready to fire when All Majest does. So I think I can go one more round here, though. Um, unless a Dispel fires. Okay, good. So she's dead. Um, so I'm going to wait with... Ferris on a Cure 3 for after All Majest fires. Oh, she did even less damage than than Lena. So I'm going to wait until All Majest fires right here. She should fire momentarily. There it goes. What's the damage? Okay, 738. That's pretty good. Cure 3 will get everybody who is alive back on their feet. There's Dispel. Um, so he needs Shell immediately. He needs shell right away. Oh, I forgot about the um, the leak status. I forgot about the leak status. 
Um, so the knight needs shell immediately. There's the laws of the universe are broken. That means a grand cross is incoming. Knight needs a shell right away, and I need to bring Lena uh, back up. Lena needs to come back up. White Mage also needs the new blink, but shell is going to take priority right here. Okay, so let's X magic, let's raise, and then um, I guess let's cure two. Lena, raise. I guess could have cured two everybody to get the uh, to get that back up. If I have a couple more of um, buffs I need to apply with my white mage. Okay, that's pretty good damage. Um, and fire three right there. That's from the back piece. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And so that combo right there takes out my white mage and sets us back a little bit. That's okay. Um, it's not great, but we can work with it. Um, really, though, I need my white mage to get some turns because we have some buffs that we need to reapply. And having the white mage die not only takes a turn from the white mage, but it also sets the white mage farther back on needing to apply um, the buffs. The red mages are doing next to nothing. Next to nothing for the red mage. Okay, so I did skip a grand cross cycle there. That is actually really solid. I was able to skip a grand cross cycle, uh, which is huge, actually. That's actually really big. Um, you know what? I'm going to back out of this, and I'm going to use an elixir on the white mage. I mean, instead of doing that, I'm going to do something that's a little bit more effective than that. All right, white mage needs to go now um, shell on self, because all the jest is going to be coming again. Uh, Kryle still has her shell. She should still have her shell status. The physical attacks are going to be crushing us. See, if I can keep the damage coming... Okay, the shell was great right there. That was amazing. Um, we need to get some, some blinks back on, though, now. Because she can get taken out by the physical attacks as well. Okay, good. Alright, so here's Grand Cross. We did not quite have enough damage to avoid a Grand Cross. If I had cast Holy there, maybe we could have avoided one. Alright, let's see what the damage is. Okay, Toad. Oh, the Knight is old. Alright, here's a, here's a better look at it with the colors um, in better shape. So, Toad, Darkness, and Old. The old status is a nasty one. Um, I don't know if Izuna can actually cure that. I don't know if Izuna can cure that, but the Red Mage can cure the Toad status. Um, yeah, so that'll be fine. Okay, we gotta attack while the Knight still has some damage to deal. All right, that's good. That was a vacuum wave. Um, okay, so let's first let's let's Toad. Okay, first let's uh, Toad two and Life two, Lena. And then I'll try to Isuna the old status, but I don't know if it actually takes it away. Old might stick around for forever. Let's see if it does. If it does heal it, awesome. If you'll tell his hair changes back. Okay, good, good. All right, another Alma Jess is incoming. There's Arrow. Another Alma Jess is incoming, so we've got to get um, full health and shell on everybody except for... Um, Lena. Full health and shell and everyone but Lena. Lena's just going to try to uh, do a little more damage here. Grand Cross Piece is going to be extra dangerous from now on. It might do Medio now. When it's in its last um, round, it can do Medio. So I need to kind of prioritize getting that piece down a little bit more. Let me see if I can blast out. This is a little bit aggressive right here. This is a little bit aggressive. Okay, there's a Laws of Universal Broken, so we have a little bit more time on the Grand Cross piece. We have a little bit more time before um, it's going to do its nasty thing, before it's going to start casting Meteo on us. And this way, I can actually get my Cure 3 ready to go um, after Almagest fires. Because it's going to fire any second now, but we should all survive it. Except Lena. Yeah, 600. 
Six hundred. Okay, there's all Majest. He's gonna fire. Uh, here's Cure Three on everybody. All right, and that brings us good health. All right, dispel and physical. That was vacuum wave. Whoa, that was big. That was big. Okay, so um, let us elixir you. Uh, that brings that back up. We gotta stay on that Grand Cross. Okay, Grand Cross is dead. Grand Cross is dead. Okay, cool. So now we're going back to shell status. Grand Cross is dead. Which, hallelujah for that. Okay, life on you. And I guess cure two on you. There's not there's not much that she can do. <laughs> and oh I needed to apply the glitch there. That was an error on that part. I needed to apply the Oh no, never mind. The Mirage glitch is still there. Okay? Alright, now. Almagest, you are next. Almagest, you are next. Okay, fire two. That should be okay. She should be good. Awesome. Um, I'm going to go a little more aggressive here on Almagest now that Grand Cross is down. We're still going to eat the occasional dispel that I'll have to reset, but it should be alright. Alright, let's just elixir here. And you're just going to keep breaking rods. Doing whatever piddly little damage you can do. It does add up, though, over the course. It's intended if she's done, you know, three or four thousand damage. About as much as one of these attacks. About as much as one of those. That's okay. All right, now blink status for the white mage. Elixir the knight. I'm going to try to um, link the knight as well next round. Here we go. Now the knight can take a couple of physical attacks. Will help big time. And we're just going to dump damage into the Almages piece. I'm trying to decide if I should link Lena as well. I don't know if it's worth blinking Lena. Uh, maybe during the last sequence here. Maybe during the final sequence, but for now I don't think it is because I really want to get Almagest out of the way. I don't think we'll be able to get it before another Almagest fires, but you never know. But either way, we are ready for the next Almagest. If it does fire anytime, we're ready for it. Grand Cross was really the biggest danger of this battle. Okay, so here comes another Almagest. We will be ready for it. Okay, and actually, yeah, Lena is alive. Okay, that was a vacuum wave. But we can afford to do another Holy here. Another Rod, another Attack. So we can do another, you know, 9,000-ish damage. Look at all that lag. Wow, look how laggy Holy was. Everything's laggy with that sprite movement. Alright, so now I'm going to prepare Cure 3 after this uh, Thunder Rod attack. Okay, Cure 3 is ready for when all Majest fires. Unless uh, another... Unless the front or back piece does a plinky attack, and then we will just do Elixir. There's Almagest. There's Cure 3. And good. None of the other pieces had a one queued up. Sometimes you get Almagest, and then both other pieces will um, have another act queued up. Okay, Dispel. Okay, so that sets us back a little bit. That's okay. Um, X Magic, Raise, and... to get at some of the drain damage back. And 
Oh, she didn't get the benefit of it. I didn't notice that before. I bet that happened before and she didn't get the benefit of it before either. Because it applies in both at the same time, not sequentially. That's too bad. That's okay. That's just a little um, menuing error on my part. Hey, nice, nice uh, guard. That was nice. That was solid. Link? Uh, no, that's shell. Link self. Image status on self. Dave. Oh, uh, that's flare. That's fine. Lena is just kind of a meat shield right now, so I like I like the idea of keeping her alive. So I'll just cure to everybody to get the knight the last hundred or so hit points that he needs to get to full health. I know it's not going to help Lena very much, but Lena becomes a meat shield that will soak up some of the single targeting stuff. Meanwhile, we really have to get all the Jess down. All right, dispel on Lena. That's a perfect place to cast dispel. I'm really happy about that. She has nothing to dispel, so put on her. Listening for the the death. Uh, I know we're a little ways out, but we should be getting fairly close. Um, because actually of these rods and the magic lamp casting. They they will have been slowly putting damage on the Almagest piece. Bit by bit. Okay, there's the Almagest piece gone. Very good. So, um, we're in much better shape now. Just have to be careful to not totally mess up this last piece. I just have to listen for that animation, for that for the death sound, and have someone ready to cast Magic Lamp before we eat another Almagest. Although with Shell on everybody, we actually could eat an Almagest from that back piece if, if it got a turn. We actually could eat um, let's go back to Blink for the night. Just so that I don't have to reapply anything else. Gosh, I wish my red mages had been a little bit more uh, more useful, but X Magic was okay on Pryle. We used it a few times there to do um, a double revive, actually, during... Which battle was it? I think the Necrophobe battle, we did a double revive, which was great. That's about the best you could do. <laughs> That's the best destiny. Oh, Delta attack! So this one is going to set us back a little bit. Because um, she will have lost all of her stuff. I do know which one soft is, but we are not totally boned there. I know which one soft is. But she will have to reapply shell and blink. And now we've got, yeah, we've got several of us who need shell and blink. So yeah, the the stone attack is actually pretty pretty nasty in a fight like this, where we have to apply our protections again. And I only have one character that can apply those protections. Um, so let's go shell first. Shell, I was hoping would have protected me from delta attack, but. Um, not the case. All right, very good thing. That'll work. All right, miss again. But they, all these pieces do have some evasion. All right, there was a vacuum wave, so that's a nasty one. Um, so let's just Phoenix down rather than cast life, and then um, I'll elixir her after that. So I have to wait though on down fires. Because the elixir can jump up the phoenix down in the queue. So you can paste a little bit that way. Wow, we really need to get... My white mage needs to get a turn here. She can't apply all of her own... Uh, 
all her own stuff because she keeps getting nerfed. Eating a vacuum wave was uh, was unfortunate. Shell herself. Then she's got to get another turn, though, to... Oh, that was Blink. Whoops. So Shell has got to be next, then. A flare on Lena is okay. Flare on Lena is fine. Okay, another vacuum wave. So actually, I didn't make the right choice, it seems. Ah. X magic. Five, and then, um... And what? Okay. Five, and then and then it'll just do cure two to get us... Oh, I so I guess cure two must have been her first one. I think it must have X'd out of it. So here's cure two. There's Raze for Lena. I have to shell Ferris right now. Shell. Okay, Dispel. Man. Oh, ick. He's really going after that white mage. He's all I've got. I'd love to cast Holy with her sometime, but she needs to get a turn and not need her buffs. Okay, hang on. Yeah, so we do still have a valid target there. I thought it, it's hard sometimes to hear the, um, the death sounds. But I still can see the top piece is still alive, so we are okay. Yep, the top piece is still alive. Okay, top piece is still alive. Good. Okay, Blink going on. Yeah, Dispel Rough. Her. We're getting there, though. Okay, good block. Good Blink block. And actually, might be able to cast Holy here. I'm going to wait until I have someone else with their turn speed up before I cast Holy. Okay, good. That will do. Because this, this could do it. That was it, I believe. Let me confirm. Yes, that was it. Magic Lamp. Let's see if I did this right. If we see Odin, we know we're good. Control her down. Watch the victory unfold. There it goes. There she is. There is X death gone. All the good stuff in the world. There goes X death. Cool. So, um, standouts in that fight. Standouts in that fight. White Mage was able mostly to keep up with buffs and get a few holies in. That was kind of my hope and my plan. Is that the the speed of the Hermes sandals would be enough to let the White Mage get image and um, and shell on everybody. Thankfully, none of those expire. There were thoughts in this plan originally to try to use Reflect. Um, those thoughts were rather short-lived because Reflect expires so quickly. It expires after, like, two or three actions for characters. I haven't looked up how long it lasts, but it just goes away so quickly. The White Mage would not be able to keep up with them on, and uh, it would make it hard to do a Cure 3 because that would get bounced off. So I decided not to try Reflect. It just would have been a waste of time, a waste of actions. Shell and Blink both stay on until they're dispelled or... Um, die or turn so 
White Mage kept up with it. I don't think the Red Mage had to use Double Revive any time during that X-Death fight. We used it during um, the Necrophobe fight, which was um, but not during this one. And I'm glad I'm standing by my choice to leave Lena dead during some grinding. It made the grinding go a lot faster, and I was able to do it keeping three characters alive for Almagest. If you're grinding for Almagest, it's all about just can you survive and can you recover from it. Not just can you survive... But can you bounce back? Because if you if you have only one character who can tank an Almagest and everybody else is dead, um, X-Death can sometimes queue up a couple of other actions right after the Almagest fires. So it'll go Almagest, Vacuum Wave, Lizaga. And so you can't really survive with one character then. But I knew with my guys having Shell, um, if it really went... You know, all Majest, Vacuum Wave, Lezaga, I would then have just one character left, and I'd have to really go quickly. If it was the Red Mage, then I would have to use uh, the double revive, but thank you, I'd not have to do for this run. We ended with everybody on their feet, of, of, uh, of all the luck to do there too. But once Grand Cross was down, um, that was it, and we only actually ate one Grand Cross. I was very impressed that we were able to skip the first Grand Cross cycle. The first one comes pretty fast, but because I took the extra step... Oh, just before the transition, this is important, and another uh, notable in this fight. Just before going from X-Death to Neo-X-Death, um, I ate a Meteor, and I paused to revive and rebuff, taking the risk that I was going to get another Meteor from X-Death. I certainly could have gotten, um, but I'm glad I did that, because then I didn't have to waste any actions at the beginning of the Neo fight. Yeah, so I would rather do another round with the risk of Meteo in the first phase than um, go into the Neo fight unprepared. So when you're doing this on your own runs, try that and see. If you are a little bit on the edge of the power level, see if that works for you. It definitely works for me. Because um, if you get a game over on the first phase, it's not as much of a time loss. You know, of your real human time, not that we're... Um, you don't lose as much progress. But eat another Meteo. If you get bad luck, get another Meteo, which could happen to me. All right, we re-roll the fight. Um, but if I went into the Neo fight unprepared, it could have been a, you know, a 10-minute battle to try to recover. Because once you are weak, you have to be reviving people all the time. You can't take any hits. Everything that hits you knocks somebody out. That first Alma Jest comes, and you got to be ready for it. Um, so I'm going to end the stream right now, um, but I am going to continue recording because I always like to capture my characters. We are going to finish up with this part of this and the commentated video part of it. Um, we will leave you until run four of 2018.